because they know how to equip themselves, not with uh, the rifles and the guns and the grenades and all that, but with the studied technology, because with literacy, a person can fight off anything. Schools had long been losing the fight, turning out students who could recite materials, but not apply them. The real enemies were the actual barriers that prevented effective study. So, at the yearly gathering of kings, Isaac briefed the royalty of 12 regions, state officials, and thousands more, telling them new freedom was possible. I want my area, Ada, to move rightfully into the next millennium, to be equipped to take their rightful place in economic development. In order for anyone, anywhere on this planet, to take on the challenges that we face, we face in the next century, you have to have education. Without education, you stand still, you go nowhere. This study tech and this learning technology was developed by humanitarian L. Ron Hubbard. And I tell you, it is second to none. Media gathered to help Isaac and Princess Asi announce their news to the nation. First, they broke ground for the Necotech building, a model study center to deliver the foundation of effective education, Hubbard's study technology. Meanwhile, delivery began at once. 37 of Ada's top educators were summoned, and members of Applied Scholastics and the World Literacy Crusade were on hand to train them. Graduates had this to say about the study technology. This concept, I think, is necessary for everybody who wants to learn or to, to read anything. Even professors at the university, they need to do it. Because there are certain simple things which you don't um, think they are important, but um, they go to a long extent to, to help you. This is a scientific you know, way of uh, detecting you know, these uh, barriers to learning and the scientific way of uh, you know, solving them. And so it's going to help me personally, and it's going to help me uh, help my students. And I hope you will not only come and bring this program to us here in Adan, but you send it to other parts of the country so that learning will be very, very effective and we will never forget you. The beauty of, it, of this is that you have people who have been doing this for a long time, so it's not something as a fly-by-night program. And I know that LRH had worked on this for over 30 years, and then has set up these organizations with people who are trained professionals to do this properly. So when you introduce something like this to a country, you feel confident of not just bringing something that's going to die, but it can sustain itself and be maintained by well entrenched principles and systems that are in place. So we're very happy about it. Next, headmasters, principals, and teachers representing some 6,000 students united to save their children. Target one, every high school in the town of Ada. From America and South Africa came reinforcements and the Director of Education postponed year-ending exams for a full week of learning how to learn. Soon, the principles of Hubbard's study technology swept away decades of classroom ritual, chanting of formulas, and studying only for examinations. These students were on fire to learn. I'll run Hubbard. I won't say that. He has really done something. For getting the knowledge of this whole program, I want to thank him very much. And it's going to encourage students to learn and have fun. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just learning to pass my exams. But now it will lead me in the future, anywhere I go. I would like to encourage all others who have not undergone this learning how to learn and tell them that it's a good course and they must undergo it because it will help you a lot. Really, if you want to make it in life, I mean, you must undergo the course. They should let this thing uh, cover all schools in Ghana so that uh, in future we'll have uh, a better Ghana. 
And when graduation came, every high school in the town of Ada held that precious gift of literacy. Parents, ministers, and kings attended to see their sons and daughters stand tall. For on this day, a thousand children stepped through doors of infinite possibility. So we just created a new door in Ghana called the Door of Return. But now we're returning to a great height. One that is going to get rid of all the ills. And again, the biggest and the tallest of all the ills being illiteracy. Because if we had the tech and, and if we were more literate, slavery would never have occurred the way it did. Absolutely not. I brought this wonderful study technology because I know that this is what it's going to take to turn things around in Ghana, in Adama area, because people can then start to develop once they become educated. This next generation will be the ones that will take the reins and move them into the future uh, for development, because if they have that, then no one can dupe them any longer. Uh, they will not allow themselves to be denied the opportunities. And it could spread throughout Africa. What began with a promise in Ghana has indeed proven if people are the true measure of civilization, gaining the ability to learn is civilization itself. And that is the new destiny of Africa.